Sir Chester Cobblepot has a game that has caught my eye, and now I'm going to tell you about it. The Shadow Planet, the board game. This is for three to five players ages 13 and up, and should take you about 90 minutes to finish. The Shadow Planet, the board game, is a sci-fi game of alien horror based on a beautifully illustrated Italian graphic novel by Blasteroid Brothers. It perfectly blends the idea of hidden identities with a completely revolutionary approach to the deck-building genre, thus offering you a unique gaming experience and a chance to use a completely different strategy every time you play. Draw your secret goal and use six different characters to achieve it. Deceive your rivals and control the flow of the game through cunning management of different decks. Moving around various locations on the planet to gain powerful cards or to use special abilities. But remember that they will also benefit your opponents, who can acquire the very same deck you're trying to modify. Play over the table, look for allies, and identify the alien threat before it proves too powerful. Unless you're the creature trying to leave the planet, that is. Save humanity, or save yourself. This just drips of horror, dread, fear. At least it reads that way. Hmm. Enough to catch my attention. <laughs> that it did. So I have no idea about this graphic novel. I, I did a quick look, and it looks pretty damn interesting. It looks, the, the art is amazing. It, it, it captures a feel that reminds me of a style, like the early heavy metal magazine kind of style of artwork. Uh, so so uh, that is something that definitely caught my attention right away. So I could see why you would want to visually build upon that for a game. It also hits a very big point with me, and that's the mixing of sci-fi and horror. You know, maybe it goes back to Alien. Uh, maybe not, who knows, but for me, it's just a win-win when you take these two and put them together. Because honestly... Space is one of the scariest things there is. Talk about the unknown. And that's really where our base fear all comes from. Maybe that's why they gel together so well. Another fact that I thought was very cool was the fact that the, the creators of this game are the same people that created Letters to Whitechapel, which is a fantastically fun game about Jack the Ripper. And they also did an H.P. Lovecraft Kingsport game, which made the 20 Sided Warriors played a few times a few years back. Haven't played it since, but we did have fun at the table those three or four times that it hit. So uh, this does excite me. Individuals whose work I already enjoy. Excellent. You know, looking into this, I think it becomes obvious pretty damn quick to see that this game is inspired by movies like Alien and Aliens. Like The Thing classic and and the remake alike that this captures the feeling of fantastic planet that classic psychological horror sci-fi movie if you haven't seen it go watch it <laughs> like that it, it, it takes some of the best concepts and ideas from those sci-fi horrors in, in order to inspire this game is definitely pretty freaking awesome. Hidden roles? Secret objectives? Count me in! I love those styles of games. I don't play them enough because nobody ever believes me no matter what I say or do at any time. Kind of takes some of the fun away from it, but I still really enjoy it. So to see another game, especially with such a wild, fun sci-fi horror concept like this, yes! Please, more. Oh, and uh, a minor point, but it's something I think is kind of cool, is the miniatures in this game are busts. Just busts of the character. You know what a bust is, right? The shoulders up, a little statuette. The shoulders up and so on. And uh, there's a few games that, that do that. And I always think it kind of looks, I don't know, a little classy. But it definitely looks different. I think it's cool. Now, I, I didn't totally understand this. I'm sure I will if I, if I look through the rules. Uh, if I get to play this game, but let me just go over what I what I what I think I understand from uh, reading several reviews about this and looking into the game a little bit is that you don't you're not really playing a character. You don't claim a character until the end of the game, and that's when you see if if you won. 
So it sounds a little confusing, but it also sounds a little brilliant to me. And I, I'm curious for more information on this, and I want to try it. <laughs> I do. It sounds pretty fun. So those are the reasons that I've been drawn in to this uh, game, the Shadow Planet, the board game, and 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 what has been what has been hooking me about this? Why I've decided to put it on my gaming radar? Now, as I often say, though. Don't be influenced by me or anyone else, please. It's much better to get your information yourself. Inform yourself instead of uh, being influenced, my friends. Please, please, by uh, Galacta and Sir Chester Copplepot Games. Go, get more information and check out The Shadow Planet, the board game.